app in webinar jam you say add webinar i always use full config Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how to integrate Business Center MLSB My Lead System Pro Business Center with Webinar Jam. Now you can already integrate Business Center with Zoom but with Webinar Jam or other webinar platforms you can't so we're going to show you how to do that with Webinar Jam so we're going to get into that but first this. So the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so yeah, so this is obviously very specific, right? You have to have an MLSP account. You have to have Webinar Jam and you want to be integrating a webinar so that whenever somebody enters their email into your form, into your opt-in form for your webinar, that they get registered to Webinar Jam automatically. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. If you don't have a Webinar a Jam account or an MSP account, definitely you can get those and you'll be able to follow along. So let's get to that. But before we do that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this and you uh, will want to go check out cis443.jsgagnon.com to listen, uh, to watch the video and check out the screen share as well, because I will be sharing my screen and there's going to be a blog post as well for this. So go check that out. All right, so let's get right to it. So let me just go over here and share my screen and just kind of show you what I've got going on here. All right, so you have a, a, a funnel in MLSP. So first of all, MLSP is a platform where you can learn all about online marketing, attraction marketing, personal branding. They have a whole bunch of tools. If I go, for example, into my um, affiliate uh, tools right here, uh, affiliate link, custom links, uh, actually training. Let's go into their membership library. So they have a ton of training on how to build funnels, how to close a sale, how to do social posts the right way, go for yes, Instagram, Pinterest. I mean, they have training for everything that you can imagine that has to do with social media and building a business online. It's totally insane. I've been building my business online with the trainings that I've learned from MLSP and you can actually try MLSP for like a dollar. It's totally ridiculous. You get 30 days for one dollar, right? So I'm going to put the link here. Actually, I have it right here. Let me just put that link right on the screen. So you just go to mlsp.jsgagnon.com to go check out the uh, $1 training and it'll uh, it'll actually look like this. Let me just put it up here, .js, right, like that. It'll look like this. When you go to that, it'll take you to this page, which basically gives you uh, kind of an, a, an, an idea of what it is, t tells you what it is and all. Anyways, whatever. So that's MLSP. If you already have MLSP, obviously, this is probably why you're here more than anything is to actually go and do the training. So Webinar Jam, let's talk about Webinar Jam now because that's the other one. With MLSP, you can integrate uh, directly to Zoom. But if you want to use another platform like Webinar Jam, which for me, Webinar Jam has a lot of features that Zoom doesn't. And I'm not going to get into all that, but I really like Webinar Jam over Zoom for webinars. Zoom is great for meetings. It's great for connecting with people and having meetings with a whole bunch of people at the same time and all this stuff. And it does decent job of doing webinars. Uh, but I just find that there's certain things in Zoom. Maybe I'll do another training later on, another video on, on exactly what I find benefits, what's best and what's not best, you know, Webinar Jam versus Zoom and all that. But for today, I'm just talking about how to integrate Webinar Jam with my Lead System Pro uh, MLSP Business Center funnels, right? So whenever you have a funnel in Business Center, if I go to the funnel, the page that actually prompts the user for their email, for example, right? Let's say I go to that. Sorry about that. And I go to the pop-up form where they're entering their email. And then I load up the form settings right, right here. You're going to notice under integrations that there is a in my case, there's an integration here to add users to a workshop, add tags and all this stuff. And um, let me see. And the other thing is the um, 
webinar jam funnel so I might not be on the right funnel here let's go back to my funnels let's just take a look at which funnels um I might not be on the right one I think it's workshop something uh, which one is it I'm, I thought for sure it was this one I should uh, let me just pause and oh there it is right here okay so there's the one right here so if I go to this this funnel here I'm going to show you the right funnel here uh if I go to the page over here this one here offers a webinar right a free workshop and then when you actually go to the workshop if I go to the settings you can see right here that under the page form settings under the integrations I have a webhook my lead system promo CRM and webinar jam registration right here so that's what you all you need to do in the business center there's a couple other things we'll talk about that but let's just kind of talk about what do we need to actually do this let's turn off the uh, link right here okay so what do you need to do to integrate a webinar jam f webinar into an MLSP business center funnel right so what you'll need you're going to need a webinar jam account you're going to need an MLSP business center account you're going to need a click e-course or active group users account you're going to need a funnel or opt-in page in business center which is what I just kind of showed you you're going to need to a scheduled webinar in webinar jam which is what I I, well, I haven't showed you but I kind of quickly saw you're going to need an API key from Click eCourse and active group users you're going to need a web hook created in business center and you're going to need an event added to your funnel that uses the web hook so what we're going to do is we're going to go through these steps one by one and get ex get you to follow along if you if you don't have these accounts obviously you need to get these two accounts or these three accounts actually those three accounts if you don't have those three accounts obviously you can't follow along if you have a an MLSP business center account you're all set if not go to mlsp.jsganga.com get your one dollar free trial for 30 days if you don't have a webinar jam account I actually have a webinar link let me get that and come right back all right so yeah so the link to webinar jam if you want to get your own webinar jam account um, I'm not sure if there's a trial let's just, let's take a look let's go see what that does if I go to that link webinar jam dot jsgagnon dot com now, I don't even know if they have a trial or not but uh definitely a platform that I really enjoy that I really find is really got amazing features that's why I'm using it but uh, let me see if there's any live chat pricing page builders uh, full email sms active offers there's a lot of stuff that I haven't implemented but it does so much plus the uh evergreen option and all that is all really uh, great so let's see what happens if I click on get started I'm curious because you know I've never really seen that I guess there's a starter at $30 a month is there any trials there's a 30-day money-back guarantee obviously uh, I don't know if they have any trial or not so automated webinars is in the basic right not in the starter but still anyways you can do all this in the basic as well so but that yeah so that's a webinar jam let's just uh, go to the next oh look at that there was a pop-up what was that haha <laughs> let's go back take a look at it webinar jam dot jsgagnon.com let's go look at that and uh let's get started see what happens if I click on get started and then I move away from the page we'll get the same pop-up I'm sure we use cookies that's all good accept all cookies yep okay and let's just leave oh yeah look at that they do have a one dollar at least right now they do start my trial for a dollar that's awesome you can actually try webinar jam for a dollar you can try MLSP for a dollar that's really cool I didn't even know because I I just started promoting webinar jam as one of my affiliate uh, programs as well so obviously if you, you you can always just search for it but if you use my link uh, you know I'll be able to help you if you have any questions and all that too so yeah so all right so that's open our jam now let's get to what you need to do once you have those um set up so let's go back to the 
this uh, page I had ready this is my zone edit page in case you're wondering all right so let's see now how do we do this like I said in the notes right here we have these steps that you got to go through you need the webinar jam account let's put that in here webinar jam dot well you can do webinar jam jam dot jsgnon.com mlsp trial for one dollar so one dollar trial trial that all right over here same thing with my lead system pro business center one dollar trial at mlsp dot jsgnon.com and active group users and clicky course you can get a free account there as well so free account on either one of them which is either um click e click click ecourse.com or active group users.com now both of those have different feature sets but they both support this api that you can do um, and I'm going to show you how to access that on the both accounts have the same uh, process so you need these accounts and uh, then you can follow along so let's go ahead and do that we're going to create a fun a funnel in business center that are very basic simple funnel so I'm going to go to business center right here I'm going to go back to the funnel uh, leave here and I'm going to go actually create a funnel that is just going to be an opt-in right so back to funnel right here I'm going to go create a new funnel let's go add new funnel and we're just going to call it test webinar jam integration all right we're just going to do that and we're just going to call it that we're just say add new funnel and this is just going to be a straight opt-in funnel and lead magnet and I'm just going to go and select the opt-in page as a standard opt-in page that just has an email a request so let's just make a very simple one what's the simplest one that we have in here it doesn't really matter because I can always remove things so I think this is the simplest one let's use this one all right so now I'm going to change the text right here to say uh, register for one time webinar right so that's going to be like this this text is going to be more info here right so I'm not going to bother with this this is going to be um actually um let's do this like this well no I guess it's fine okay so this I'm just going to change that to a picture of me and I'm going to put in here about your about your host and I'm just going to go in here and edit this and say Jean Serge Gagnon has been doing webinars for years anyways nobody cares right um, learn how to do them too and then we're just going to delete this one we're going to delete this one we'll just have to all right so there we go so now we just have these two and then over here it's going to be register now let's say register now register now and let's just get that out of there and we're also going to hide this we don't need both buttons right so let's just go back to here whoops we're going to hide the button just hide it not have it there we go so this is a very simple basic um page I'm just going to save it <coughs> and publish it then also what I need to do is I need to go <coughs> to the <coughs> pop-up form uh, where uh, to register right so now I have enter your best email below to register and then over here we're going to have let's just do that register now all right and that's it and then that's fine okay and then in the page form settings uh, we have to go into integrations in here and we have to add a new okay so before we do that we need to go and create the API key and the so actually you know if I look at my let's just save this publish this if I look at my list that I have here I think I should probably have 
done this first so let's do that let's actually do that so first we need an API key let's put that here as number four and then the next thing we need is a scheduled webinar so we actually need the webinar before we can add it to the uh, and then the webhook oops the webhook we need that first as well then we create the webhook six this is five and this is seven I think an event added to your funnel that uses the webhook uh funnel right yes that's exactly the right order okay sorry about that this is the order of what you need to do this and uh, basically you go we're going to do this first we need to create an api key from click ecourse or active group user now depending on which of the two you create it's going to be the same thing you're going to have an, an account menu right here so this is click ecourse uh, no, sorry this is active group users as you can see and on click ecourse is basically the same thing you have still have the profile up here and you got the menu down there right so what we're going to do is create the api key for now so let's just go into your account you go into api keys and if you can't find it just type api right here and it'll show you just the api keys there we go we go to api keys and in here you can have multiple api keys I, as you can see i have a bunch of different ones obviously you don't want i don't want to share the secret with you on the screen but it kind of shows you what the keys are so for example i have right here i don't have any funnels but if i go to active group users and i look at the api keys i have there i think i actually created one that had uh that was for webinar jam I actually did that because I do have a webinar going on right now and it's right here webinar jam register right so as you can see it's been used 20 times which means that people have opted into my page and they've been uh, registered to webinar automatically using this and uh, that's kind of what this tracks right here and uh, let's see so now how do you use that let's go and create a new one I'm just going to go here I'm going to create a new API key you just click on this and I'm going to just create it here as a test we'll just call it now obviously this and this is the secret and the key so let's give it this key a name let's call it uh, webinar webinar jam test I'm just going to call it that and I'm going to give it a date I'm not going to give it a date but you can give it an expiry date if you want and now we have the webinar jam test right here we have this the key and the and the secret so if I click on reveal secret and URL right here it gives me a sample URL for accessing a course or for getting a new user there is no example here but probably by the time you you see this there might be an example for webinar jam as well because that's a feature that was added not long ago but this gives you the secret and the key right here and also example URLs to use so we're going to use that in a minute but first we need to have a webinar jam um, created right so like I said right here we have the API key now we have the API key now we need to go and create a webinar jam that's scheduled in webinar jam so how do you do that in webinar jam you say add webinar I always use full configuration click on next schedule for later click on next and then you just go through each of the different little steps we're going to go through those they don't take that long it says it takes a while but it really doesn't take that long so basic settings webinar name I'm going to call this a test webinar for CIS 44 which which one are we on right now and yeah so we're not jammed out there so let's just see what is it mm -mm -mm, I'm looking for my it is number 443 okay so that's what we have here title obviously is going to you know enter the title here so it's not going to have a title you can have a webinar a, a, an image for your thumbnail that's when you share it on social media and that kind of stuff and uh but I'm just going to go uh, save that and uh description description goes here all right so that's just going to be like this I'll say confirm webinar presenter there's only one that's fine that's good I'll click on next and then so there's just a few things I need to do to create the webinar so that we have the link because we need the link for the integration right okay so now I have a single session I'm going to set up the date of I don't know right now what are, what are we what are we doing we're the 16th today so let's make it the 18th at that's fine at let's say in 9 p.m 
and it's going to be in my time zone. Where's my Where's my time zone? Mm -mm. I don't even think uh, maybe it is there, but I'm just going to put Eastern time, and let's make it seven. Anyways, it doesn't matter because it's not going to happen. But this is basically you give it a time zone, you give it a time, and you click on add. You can have more than one, by the way, but I just use the one. So we're going to say confirm right here. I think say next. So registration page, default template, that's probably all fine. I'm not going to change any of this stuff. I'm just going to click on next. The gateway, I'm not going to touch. The integrations, I'm not going to touch that either. And by the way, you can do integrations with Aweber and stuff like that. But because we're using the automated registration, we don't need to use, because, you know, uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, the reg Yeah, let's show you that in a second. The thank you page, the live, that's, don't worry about any of that. The replay don't worry about it and then finish okay so now we created a default webinar where you could actually go and register see if i click on here oh it first has to launch this so let's pause this and we'll be back when it's done all right so once you've got your link now we have a link right here i can actually go to this page right now and kind of show you what it looks like it's the default but i could register to this webinar using this page right but the problem i have with that so if I click on register down here, right, I, I can register for this webinar. But the problem I have with that is that I can't really, I can't have a timer like I have on MLSP. I can't have, like, there's all these different things. Even though the uh, page editor for Webinar Jam is pretty good, it still isn't as great as Business Center. MLSP Business Center is really, really good at, in, at creating uh, uh, funnels because you can have, like, you know, I can have, like, up top here, I can say... Let's go back to the funnel. No, actually, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to show you that. I wanted to show you this page here. Um, I wanted to add a timer. Let's say I want to add a timer on this. I want to say this webinar is in like three days and I want to have a countdown timer on the page. Well, then I go here and I just say add a section and I'm going to make it, I want a timer. So this timer is right here. I'm going to want this timer right there and I want it at the top of the page. I'm just going to move it up to the top of the page right here so now I have a timer in six days and let's just uh, go change it to there is a specific date and it's going to be whenever my webinar is right I don't remember when I set it to but let's say it's 8 p.m there we go p.m oops I said a.m say p.m and there we go so now it's saved and now I have a timer right here that says in two days, eight hours. So whenever somebody goes to my page, I have this timer. You can't, you can't actually do that in Webinar Jam. So that's one of the things I really like Business Center for. But there's all sorts of other things you can do with Business Center as well, right? All right. So now we have Webinar Jam, and I have the the webinar set up, which is step number uh, five right here, right? I've got the scheduled webinar in Webinar Jam. All right. So then I need a webhook created in Business Center. So the webhook is part of your account it's not part of the page it's part of your account so let's go to the to your account settings if i go back to the to the funnel actually oh I can, let's save it i want to have that timer on there okay back to the funnel and then if i go to um, the business center settings i got to go back here to back to funnels right here oh, actually i didn't have to i could have clicked on those okay so now if i go to the page i go to my account setup and my integrations right here now i already have the integration for the webinar jam that i'm doing but now we're creating a new one so we just say we just go up here add new integration we call it webinar jam test right because this or whatever it is whatever your webinar is obviously you put the name there that makes sense to you and then i'm going to go down here i'm actually as you can see there's a whole bunch of other integrations but there is no and there's zoom right here but there's no webinar jam in here right so you have to use the webhook for that so i go webhook and then the webhook url i have to paste the link that uses the uh the other uh, the webhook that we created right up here right the api that we created we got to use the link for that so i go back to here i have my link right here i'm just going to copy this link which is not the right link but you'll see what i do in a second I uh, go back to here and I paste that in here and in the case of this all I need to do is change this to webinar jam 
and then slash the webinar that I want which is this one this id right here I just need this id right here whoops back to here and then I also need the session id which by default is one but I guess we want to make sure that we have the session id if I go back to um the, well yeah let's go back to edit this test webinar I'm going to show you what I mean by the session id because you might have more than one session in our case and normally when you create your webinar you have you just create the first session and in my case I actually did clone a webinar and then I ended up with session two session three because the dates change right but if I go to schedules right here and I click on this you can now see that I have session number one that's the number session if you have more than one or if you ever clone this webinar like say if I go back to my uh webinars and I go back to the other one that I have here that I've got scheduled for demo if I go back to this webinar here just kind of show you what I'm talking about and I go to the schedule in this webinar <coughs> and I edit the schedule you'll notice that now it says session three and the reason why it says that is because when you clone a webinar you're cloning the dates as well so if you're if you're using the same webinar and you're cloning it to a new way a new date you're gonna have to go in here and delete your first session or at least don't use it well you actually have to delete it otherwise it'll show up in the registration but you have to go and use the number that's there so it'll go up every time you create a new <coughs> a new one with a new date so just just saying you got to go make sure <coughs> you have the right session here if I go back in here it's just going to be one so I'm just going to put one right here <coughs> and so that's kind of how it works okay sorry I went back and there's an issue it's actually not webinar jam it's webinar jam register so it actually has to have this in in the name webinar jam register is the full thing so let's just take that link here and paste it in my thing so basically and I'm just going to say over here such as <coughs> there we go so such as this uh whoops <laughs> why did that that's what's happened what happened okay such as there we go so I somehow I pasted okay so obviously this this is what well, this part here is the API key this is the API secret and then you have webinar jam register and then the web, webinar ID and then the session ID so this is the part inside of webinar jam that shows up in the webinar ID which <clears throat> if I go back to uh, webinars and I go on my particular webinar click on your links you can see right here this is the ID right there right that's the ID inside the registration page ID uh and that's <clears throat> that's basically that's 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 it so you got to do that you put that in there and then webinar jam register with the ID so it's you know it sounds like kind of complicated because it's like a lots of little steps but it is pretty straightforward so I click on add register add integration right here and that does a validation to make sure that that works <clears throat> and then I have it right here now webinar jam test all right so that's step number four so four is done we have a, a webinar API we got the API key and we uh oh actually that's not right this here does not go here because we have the API key created this is where we want to do this such as this there we go right so we need a schedule webinar in webinar jam we got that now we got our webhook created in business center so after we have our webhook created now we need to have a funnel which I kind of already created right so if I go back to business center and I go back into my marketing I go into my funnels right here you can kind of see that I have this new test funnel that I did where is it my test webinar jam integration I go back to this funnel here <coughs> which is the test funnel <coughs> I'm sorry and I'm going to go back to edit this page where the form is and this is so we already kind of created this funnel right if you go back in the video to the beginning you're going to see the the creation of this so I have this one here and it obviously the text that's here is no good you got to really do a proper webinar registration page but 
over here I'm going to click <coughs> on this <coughs> register now form settings integrations this is where you do the integration I'm going to add a rule and I'm going to say on a creation of a contact I'm going to go into webinar the webhook and it's going to be the webhook webinar jam test this one here as you can see this is my other one I have the webinar jam test is right here and select action send webhook and that's basically all you got to do is you click on the add rule and then we go back to the page and it's already integrated it's th there's no change to the page and we can go back to the funnel now and we can uh we can actually let's create a thank you page let's just go and put a thank you page here so you can kind of we'll go through the process we'll show you kind of what it does and let's just say congrats you're in that's fine that's just a basic these are all just well let's just do this okay let's do this one congrats your 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 seat is saved all right so now we're going to go here and say check your emails check your email for registration for for link to live webinar all right and then and watch this video well I, that's fine I'll just get rid of the video right here let's hide this video whoops because I just want let's just hide that we don't need it in here we don't need the calendar either <coughs> well I mean obviously you can have it but I'm just gonna remove it and then we'll let's get not worry about this we have let's actually go to the sections footer download let's hide the footer let's hide the calendar and that's fine come at you in check your email for link to webinar okay I'm just going to do that and publish and then if I go back to the funnel actually I think I might have forgotten one thing <coughs> with the funnel is we need to make sure the funnel goes to the next page whenever you enter your email right uh so let's do that right here go to the pop-up form register now registration page settings and form action we have to make sure it goes to the next funnel step all right so that's done save and publish all right so now we have the funnel okay now do we have everything so now we have the funnel and then we have an event added to your funnel that uses the webhook actually we did that that's what we just did now <coughs> and let's test it let's go ahead and test it so now if I go to my this is my funnel so let's open this in incognito right here and let's go and this is my register now I'm going to put an email in here and register now and there we go congrats your seat is saved <coughs> now if I go to my webinar jam let's see if I have registrants it should have registered hopefully that all worked right I and I just go to the test one no that didn't work haha <laughs> let me go check what happened and just a sec well I checked and the, it's just a back-end bug it's going to be fixed by the time you check into it but this is what will happen you'll see the registrant here they'll also get an email from webinar jam whichever you configured in webinar jam they'll be registered automatically and if you choose you can also if I go back to here you can also have your um funnel also do other things like for example register subscribe them to an email list Naweber things like that like which is what I do if I go back to the uh no I don't need a new section hold sorry I clicked the wrong thing I go to the pop-up form here and then I go to the form settings you can see that under integrations I can add a new rule I can say contact created I can say a Weber add to list select the list any list I want right and add tags and stuff like that so you can actually do that too you can have them register to an email list as well either in the case of a Weber um uh, sorry in the case of webinar jam versus my lead system pro business center you can actually have the a Weber integration happen on either one right because in webinar jam you can if I go back to here 
in webinar jam you can do it too because I can go into webinar jam here edit this webinar and go here <coughs> oops next and I can actually go into integrations here and do all these other things too right so if I go into integrations I can actually add different integrations I want right for email I can use I would use normally Aweber right um uh, no, I guess they have to they, I have to re-authenticate but yeah you can integrate with Aweber list either here or in in the MLSP and that automatically will allow you to do other things obviously Zapier is another thing that you can use to do lots of different things but in business center if you want to integrate with webinar jam you kind of need an API key and I do believe they are working on if they don't already have a Zapier integration as well which would allow you to do this kind of thing but you can do it right now with a clicky course API key and just do it this way all right so if you have any questions as always you can always reach out and I'll be happy to help you with any of this complex geeky stuff right all right have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.